Hi everyone! So today I'm going to share to you the answers in NMAT physics. Alam ko naman na meron kayong mga sagot but yan, I'll try to explain kung bakit yun yung naging sagot and will give you rationale as well for the parts na mga hindi dapat isagot. And I hope na um, you're reviewing well right now and that this would be, uh, that I would be able to help you through this. Um, I'm a best physics major, but yeah, disclaimer, hindi lahat ng physics ay alam ko or naalala ko pa. So, I hope na as you listen to this, um, you will really listen properly and um, hanapin nyo kung sakaling magkamali ako and correct me as well. So, let's start. A man finds that he can walk 1 kilometer in 20 minutes, 3 kilometers in 1 hour, 6 kilometers in 2 hours, and 9 kilometers in 3 hours. This indicates that the distance he travels is blank. So, what do you think is the answer? Okay, wala akong ano, lap, uh, ano to, yung usual na pen. So, naka-mouse lang ako. So, hindi maganda yung sulat. Anyway, um, Inversely proportional to the time. Anong tinutukoy pag inversely proportional to the time? Tandaan natin yung ito, pero para mas makita nyo siya, ganito na lang. Anong ibig sabihin na inversely proportional? Ibig sabihin na inversely proportional is kapag kapag tumataas yung value, bumababa yung isa. Ganon siya. So, yung distance ba, kapag humahaba, uh, lumalayo ka, tapos I don't know, bumababa ba yung time? Hindi, di ba? Kasi sila ay actually directly proportional. Anyway, um, so how do I remember that kung inversely ba or directly proportional? It's actually um, through this. Pa, uh, inaayos ko yung formula in a way na makikita ko yung mga nasa taas at nasa baba. So, pag ganyan, opposite sila, nasa taas yung velocity, nasa baba yung time. Therefore, inversely proportional sila. So, yung tinutukoy dito ng inversely proportional to the time is actually yung velocity. And then, inversely proportional to the square of the time. That's actually acceleration. I'm sorry, hindi maganda yung sulat ko. Anyway, ayan, acceleration yun. Or, V over T, or actually distance over T squared. <coughs> and then, um, directly proportional to the time. Yun yung sagot. Distance is directly proportional to the time. Because, ito yan, di ba? Pero hindi mo mapap makikita yung sinasabi ko kanina. So, i-rearrange natin siya in this way. T is equal to D over V. Nire-arrange ko lang siya. Binaba ko yan. Tapos yan. Siyempre, alam niyo naman yung rule nun. Tapos ito, directly proportional to the square of the time is acceleration din yan. But, ang tinutukoy dito is actually velocity. Yan lang. Next. Um, what are the factors that determine the speed of satellite which moves in a stable orbit around a planet? G represents the universal gravitational constant. Okay, um, masasagot nito kung alam nyo to. Pero actually, kahit hindi nyo naman kabisado yung, yung law of gravitation na yun nga, force is equal to gravitational constant times mass of object 1 times mass of object 2 over r squared um, radius kahit hindi mo siya kabisado, i-imagine mo na lang kung, kung ano yung nagmamatter sa speed or kung ano yung factor na makaka-apekto sa speed. Kung pag paikot yung lugar, syempre, kasi orbit yan eh, orbit, so, hindi pwedeng hindi kasama yung radius. Kapag tumatakbo ka or kapag mag-U-turn or pag nagda-drive, ganyan, lag, may factor yung pag-ikot. So, hindi pwedeng hindi kasama yung radius kasi ito puro mass, mass, and gravity lang. Diba? So, laging tatandaan na pag paikot, ganyan, may factor yung radius. Next is, a ping pong ball and a golf ball are dropped in a vacuum chamber from the same height and at the same time. When they have fallen halfway, they have the same what? So, ang sagat is velocity pero bakit hindi pa, hindi potential hindi kinetic or acceleration hindi na kaagad acceleration dahil vacuum ano ba yung acceleration ibig sabihin pabilis ng pabilis padagdag ng padagdag yung speed niya so hindi yun hindi yun pwede kasi nga vacuum lang yan wala may resistance yan kasi so potential energy paano ba kinukuha yung potential energy potential energy mass gravity and height eh hindi naman sila same ng mass so, hindi pwedeng maging parehas yung potential nila kahit na parehas sila ng height. 
kasi yun di ba have fallen halfway so kahit para sa din ang height para sa yung gravity nagmamata yung mass sa potential energy so hindi siya pwede and then yung kinetic energy naman nagmamata pa rin yung mass so hindi siya pwede pa rin so ano yung para as lang nila velocity bakit ano lang ba yung kailangan mo for velocity gravity and time. Eh, gravity, isa lang naman yan, 9.8, di ba? Tapos, yung time, eh, pareha silang nilaglag at the same time. So, pareha silang ng velocity. Yun lang. Next. Okay, ito. Um, a 10-pound object is suspended by a string from an overhead support. A horizontal force of 5.8 pounds is applied on the object. The measure of the angle which the string makes with the horizontal is... A yung sagot. Actually, yun yung una, nung sinosolve ko to, nung nagre-review pa lang ako, hindi ko tinatanggap agad yung 30 kasi um, may point. Eh, yung sagot na nakuha ko, eh, nas nakuha din ng professor ko at saka ng mga friends ko, is actually 30.11. Hindi sakto. But anyway, actually, kung nung nag-take din ako ng math, quantitative, um, uh, hindi rin sakto yung mga sagot doon. Parang mga naka-estimate lang siya. And wala kang mga calculator eh. So, ganun. So, nilagay ko dito yung ito. Now, you can remember. Pero, um, based sa natatandaan ko, hindi naman actually nagbigay ng gantong problem. Sa pagkakaalala ko, hindi nagbigay ng gantong problem. Kasi, yung mga nilagay nila sa NMAT na problem is as much as possible yung nakokonek mo na sa medicine. But, but kung sakaling magkaroon, then at least try to remember this na lang. Ito. <coughs> na kunwari, meron ka. Pero kasi yun nga, hindi nga binigay din dito yung whole number. But anyway, you just try to remember this part. And then, yun, paano ito masasolve ng 30? Uh, Siyempre, Sokatoa. Sokatoa, ano yung Sokatoa? Sine theta. Ayan, ayan yung Sokatoa. If you can remember your trigo. So, paano natin siya gagawin? Um, I'm sorry, di ako makapag-straight line because I'm using my mouse. Pero wow, naka-straight line. <laughs> this is for example. Kunwari, ito yung 10 pounds mo. And then, meron ka daw 5.8. Ayan, may 5.8 ka. And then, ano daw yung angle? Nagahanap ng angle. Ito yung angle na hinahanap niya. So, anong formula yung gagamitin mo? Ang meron ka is, ito yung angle mo. Meron kang adjacent value. Meron kang opposite value. So, hanap ka ng may opposite at adjacent. Wala ka kasi yung value ng hypotenuse eh. Ito yan. So, hindi mo na pwedeng gamitin yung soka. So, tawa ka na lang, ba? So, tan theta. Over, is equal to uh, opposite 5.8 over 10. Over 10. So, paano yung gagawin sa calcu? Uh, magiging na siyang arc tan. Tapos, equals yung arc tan nitong value nito. Tapos, ang lalabas dyan actually is 30.11. So, ayun, pagbigyan na natin yung 30. Or, meron din ako nabasa na sabi is what you can do is um, ano, uh, multiply ito. Itong dalawa, i-multiply mo siya minus this. Minus yung um, 90 degree. And then, ang valabas is 30 point something din. So, 30 yung sagot. Ganun. Next is Ito, a, first, a force of 60 newtons is used to raise a 240 newtons load using a system of pulleys. The load co covered a distance of 1 meter for every 5 meters of rope pulled through the system. The system has an efficiency of what? 80%. So, dito, kailangan ma... Okay, magets mo kung paano ko nakuha yung work, which is force and distance. Wong force mo yung may mga newton, and then yung distance mo, syempre, meter. So, usually, kapag nagsasolve ng physics, very important na alam mo yung mga unit. Kasi through that, makakaya mo na rin paglaroan din yung, um, yung formula. Minsan nga, kapag hindi ko maaalala yung, yung formula, pag nakita ko yung mga sagot na kunwari, nakalagay M over S, eh di alam ko na, na ang kailangan kong gawin is distance over time, di ba? So, ganun lang. Anyway, so, um, paano mo kukunin yan? Yun nga, force, 
times less times and then output over input so kailangan mo ma-determine kung alin dyan yung output or input syempre yung mga unang nilagay yun yung input and then output na yung mga naging result so nag-input ka ng 60 tapos um, 5 meters yung nahila mo diba? tapos yung output mo ay 2240 times 1 so that's 240, I'm sorry, sa akin sulat, over 300, so that's 24 over 30, 4 over 5, so that's 80. <laughs> Ang ganda ng sulat ko, 80, 80%. Yun lang, diba? Dali pa nung po mga first part. Next. This, a body thrown vertically up into the air possesses kinetic energy at the beginning of its flight. So, may kinetic energy ka sa umpisa, but as it rises, habang tumatagal, nawawala yung kinetic energy, nagigi na siyang potential energy with respect to level from which it started. So, habang pataas daw siya, nagigi na siyang kinetic energy. Which of the following is not likely to happen? Always remember when reading your question, tatandaan mo pag nagbabanggit ng not, except, or ganyan. So, a. When it reaches the highest point, pag na reach highest point, the kinetic energy has been wholly changed to potential energy. And that's true. Actually, kinetic energy mo pa ay zero. Ganon. As it falls, its potential energy is again transformed to kinetic energy. True. Pag pababa na siya, mag mababago ulit yan. Magiging na siyang, uh, yun nga, kinetic energy. Tapos wala ka na rin potential. And then, uh, the potential energy is maximum at highest point. Tapos, baliktad niya, lowest point naman yung kinetic energy dito. So, yung sagot is the kinetic energy is minimum at the lowest point. No. Kasi highest siya sa pinakababa. Okay. Next. Ay. Nine. Yan. Yan. Nine. Ito, very important to. And kapag nasa med school na kayo, pag-aaralan nyo pa rin to sa heart. Sa heart namin to nadaanan. So, Bernoulli's principle states that A1, V1 equals A2, V2. Blood flows from the artery A1, whose cross-sectional area is 50 mu squared at a velocity of 5 mm per second. To its more peripheral branches, A2, A3, A4, and A5. If the total cross-sectional area of the branches is 250 mu squared and each branch has exactly the same diameter as the other, what is the velocity of the blood in the branches? Maswerte kasi binanggit na dito yung formula, ba? Sorry, nahihirapan ako mag-drawing. Pero... Okay. So, for this part, um, it says A1, V1 equals A2, V2. So, you just have to sub substitute yung value nila. Don't do it. Ano, you don't need to mind na, ay, bakit ganun? Apat, ganyan. No. Ang, nag, ang ano lang naman is kung ano yung input, siya rin output. Ganun lang siya. And pare-pare naman sila ng diameter. Kaya, you can take it na ganyan pa rin. So, it, ang value nito is 50 times 5. 50 times 5. And then, Ito naman is 250, di ba? Kasi yung cross-sectional area times V2. V2 yung hinahanap mo. So, sub, ano mo lang, uh, ano to? Ilipat mo lang yan. So, 250 over 250, 1. So, ang sagot, P1. And last is this part. Based on the graph, above, the acceleration of the moving body is what? Um, acceleration, ano nga yung acceleration is yung, mapa, yung bilis mo na dadagdagan. Bumibilis yung bilis. Bumibilis ka lalo. Ganun siya. Eh, ito ay distance and time, diba? Very important to remember kapag pinakitaan ka ng graph is i-check mo yung x-axis ay x-axis and y-axis kung, kung ano yung nakalagay. And dito, ang kinukuha, ang pinapakita dito is actually yung velocity which is constant velocity kasi hindi nagbabago yung velocity niya. So, ang sagot dyan is zero. Walang, hindi yan nag accelerate Constant lang yan. So, explain ko yung ibang graph na possible ipakita. Uh, stationary object, ibig sabihin, hindi gumagalaw. Nandun lang siya sa same position niya, which is X. So, yung position niya, nandun pa rin, pero gumagana yung oras. Habang tumatagal, nandun pa rin siya kasi hindi nga siya gumagalaw. Okay? Pag velocity naman, tas hindi gumagalaw, eh di zero din yung velocity kasi hindi ka naman umaandar. Okay? And then, um, dito naman, acceleration, zero din kasi hindi nga din bumibilis. 
And then, uniform motion. Pag uniform motion naman, ibig sabihin, umaandar ka ng may, ng may ano, na constant. So, ito yung pinakita kanina. Ito yung velocity, ba? Diba? And then, paano pag velocity over, tsaka time naman yung pinag-compare, pero uniform motion, ibig sabihin yung velocity mo, parehas, hindi nagbabago. So, nandito pa lang siya. Nandito lang siya. So, ito, namaandar yung time mo. And then, pag acceleration naman, hindi nag accelerate kaya nasa zero siya. Hindi siya nag accelerate kasi uniform motion nga eh. Hindi siya bumibilis. Ganon. Pag bumibilis siya, ito na yun. So, pag pinakita ng graph ay distance and time lang, ito na yun. Ito yung may acceleration. Pero, constant acceleration din to. Pag may constant acceleration ka, ano, velocity and time yung pinapakita rin sa'yo. So, ito, pa, hindi nagbabago yung, yung graph nyo. Dire-diretso lang. Kasi nga, meron kang constant acceleration. Velocity and time. Ito, yung constant acceleration mo, same position lang. Kasi, ibig sabihin, ba't siya same position? For example, to siya. Ibig sabihin, pumibilis siya palagi, pero 2, 2, 2 lang. So, yung acceleration mo, constant, na nadadagdagan ka ng speed ng 2, ganon. Gets nyo ba? Yan lang for now. Um, since I'm also a medical student, I have to study for myself. So, I cannot, ano, hindi ko kayang ibigay lahat in just one sitting yung lahat ng sa sagot for the, for the whole practice set. So, I will do it part by part. So, abangan nyo na lang kung kailan ko ulit i-upload or kailan ko magagawa yung other questions. So, I hope this helps. And kung meron kayong tanong or meron akong maling na-explain, please let me know. You can reach out to me in my Instagram or yeah, just comment down below. Yun lang. Thank you. I hope you can pass and get the score that you want. Happy Agal.